Hello and welcome back to the Immigrant Programmers channel. My name is Kritika and in today's video we're going to learn how we can send emails from within our Node application. So sending emails to the users are really common today and it's a part of pretty much any modern application. For example, we want to send an email to the user who just subscribed to our website and we want to send a welcome email to them. Or maybe they just agreed to receive an alert on our website and we want to send an email to the user informing them about the alerts. So let's see how we can easily and quickly do all of that. Now we're going to use two third-party services to send out the emails. The first service is Node Mailer. So this is basically a Node.js module that makes it really easy to send out the emails. So as the name suggests, it's just used for Node.js applications because it's a Node Mailer. And why we're here is uh, but before that, by the way, this is the official documentation for Node Mailer. I'm going to put a link um, to this down in the description box. So um, if I go down, I want to show you a prerequisite before we start using Node Mailer. So it's right there. You want to upgrade your Node.js version to a version greater than or equal to 6.0.0 if you want to use Node Mailer. So uh, that's it. That's all. Um, as soon as we install Node Mailer using npm install Node Mailer, we can start using it right away and we're going to see how to do that in a minute. Before that, I want to show you the other third party service that we're going to use, which is SendGrid. So, SendGrid is basically an email delivery service. So, if I go right there, and I'm going to use this just because they give me a free option. A free plan you could use any other service other than this uh, like MailChimp or the SES service the simple email service provided by AWS so if I go check out the plans and pricing they have and you see they have a free option available here but as long as you just send out uh, fewer than or equal to like 100 emails per day uh, they're gonna keep your account free otherwise you can check their one of their paid plan and um, see whatever suits you okay so you just go here start for free and now you gotta sign up for your SendGrid account but I already have an account so I'm not gonna go through the sign up process but it's really easy so after you sign up uh, you're gonna receive an email on the email ID you provided at the time of the sign up to verify your account so you just gotta go through the steps they provided and your account is gonna get verified and we can start using that right away Okay, so let's dive into the code and see how we can use Node Mailer and SendGrid to send the emails. Okay, so first we're going to install the packages we want to use to send the emails and I'm going to install them as a production dependency. So npm i dash dash save and then the name of the packages. So Node Mailer and the other package I'm going to use would be the Node Mailer SendGrid transport. So the node mailer package we already discussed about it. We've visited the official documentation as well. And the node mailer sendgrid transport is a package that interacts with the sendgrid email delivery service we talked about before. And it helps us with integrating sendgrid and use it with node mailer. So I'm just gonna hit enter and let it install and being developers uh, we understand the complexity behind using node or express to create our own mailing service it will be a service that can receive and send out hundreds of thousands of emails and also do that securely while handling other complexities as well so therefore it's much easier and faster to use other third-party modules or packages that do our dirty work for us so that we can write clean code and just use their services to send out emails. So for example, here we're using Node Mailer and Node Mailer SendGrid Transport. And um, you could also use the SES service provided by AWS that we've already discussed before in this video. So, okay, so seems like it's been installed. Let's start using these packages now. So now you see I've already required both the packages that I'm going to use in my code to send the emails. So the first step would be to create a transport here, which is basically a mechanism that tells the node mailer 
which third-party service we want to use to send out the emails. So as we discussed before, the Node.js server doesn't handle the part to send out the emails on its own because it involves a lot of complexities and therefore we use a third-party service to handle those complexities for us and send the emails. So here we use the node the the create uh, transport method of the node mailer module to set to initialize this transport and inside this we want to pass the send grid transport method here because the send grid is the third-party service we're going to use to send the emails here so the send grid transport method takes an object an auth object to be precise which in turn takes another object where we're going to provide the API key, which is a unique key that helps us connect with the SendGrid API and helps us to use um, SendGrid basically to send out emails. So this API key we're going to receive from our SendGrid account and we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can do that. So basically I told you to sign up to your SendGrid account and uh, verify your account but now it's time to sign in and we're going to create an API key for ourselves and we're going to use it here to send the emails. But before that, don't worry if you have some questions about the SendGrid transport module. I'm going to put a link to the official documents of uh, the SendGrid transport modules down in the description box so you can check it out there. Now let's go and create an API key using our SendGrid accounts. Okay, so now you can see I'm already inside my SendGrid account and I've signed in. So to create my API key, I'm going to go to the settings and then I go select the API keys option. And you see I already have an API key, but I'm going to create a new one for this program. So I name it test node mailer. And then you might want to give the full access permission. To your key and then we go create and view a voila so you see my API key has been created so just make sure before you press done you copy your API key and put it somewhere secure because uh, once you create your API key they won't show you your API key again it is also mentioned that they've also mentioned it right here that uh, you should copy and save it somewhere safe because uh, they're not going to show it to you again all right perfect so i have copied it and now let's go paste it in the code so that's it there you go okay so now we're very close to sending out our first email so all we gotta do now is use the transport we just created in the previous step and use the send mail function and inside there we're gonna pass an object and we're gonna create our email so the email has a to field a from field and we might want to include a subject as well and we're gonna keep the text as HTML. All right, so let's start filling in these fields now. So the two will be the recipient of our email. So I'm gonna send out the email to the immigrant programmers. At gmail.com. And in the from field, you want to put the email ID that you just verified and you, you use this email ID basically while creating your SendGrid account, right? So I'm going to put my email ID. You want to put yours, the, the one that you used for signing up. All right. So there you go. I've put in my email ID. In the from field the verified email ID and in the subject I want to put test email and in the HTML content I'm gonna do a, an h2 tag and it's gonna be a special content so please like share comment and subscribe so you see what do i have to do to make you like share comment and subscribe the video please do okay all right 
So don't worry, we can also send in a text field if you want instead of an HTML field. So you just go text and you include your text field right here. I'm getting an error because I missed a comma. So there you go. And uh, then you can place your text here as a normal string. But we're going to use HTML first. Okay, so I can get rid of the comma here. And all right, let's put a catch block as well to catch any error at the end in case there is an error while sending out the email. So we can catch it right there. And I'm going to print the error on the console. That's it. I'm not going to do anything else with the error. And let's save it. All right, let's run this code and send out our very first email. So there you go. And now let's go to my email client and see if I actually received the email. And I sure did. So this is the email with the subject as test email and the HTML content in the body. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you also see that it mentions the email was sent via sendgrid.net. All right, so seems like our email code is working fine. And also you see that there was no error printed on the console. So basically that means there were no errors while sending the email. We just witnessed that. We successfully received the email. What I want to do next is I want to put a dot then block here because the send mail method, it returns a promise. And I can do whatever I want to do after this promise is resolved successfully. So, but here I just want to print success. And okay, let's go and hit enter and run this program once again. Okay, but before I want to save it. Okay, and now let's run it again. And you see success is printed on this on the console. So let's go back to the email client again. And it shows me a message that tells me that I've received a new email. Of course, I did. So there you go. So seems like our email code is working just fine. OK, so that's a wrap for this video. But before leaving, I just want to mention that for large scale applications, sending email makes it really heavy. So it's a really, really heavy task. So generally, what we do is we keep a different service altogether for handling the email sends. And we do this synchronously, by the way. So we don't wait on the email service to finish executing the email send action before moving on to the next task. So essentially, the dot bin block over here you won't really need it. So if you code for large scale application, you'll see you won't really use it other than some special circumstances. All right, so that's a wrap on this video. We learned a lot today. We used our Node.js application to send out emails using NodeMailer and SendBread as the third party services. And if you like this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for similar content, comment down below and let us know how we did. And if you have any more video ideas, do comment, put them in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. Until next time.